So here we are at this storage unit we just bought from the storage unit auction. We paid $125 for this storage unit. If you're new to this channel, that's what we do. We just buy storage units 24 seven. Let's go in there and see if we can make some money. Normally, I wouldn't touch a storage unit with a mattress, yet alone three of them in there, as you can see. But there was just so much gaming-related stuff in here that I just couldn't resist. I see Xboxes, I see games, I see old-school games, and I, I just had to go for it. Let's see what we can find in the unit. First thing first, what is this? Ooh, this thing is heavy. What is that? That is a high-current car audio power cell. I said that like I knew what that was. But whatever that is, that is still in a box. So maybe it's... Expensive, hopefully. Let's set that aside. Let's see what's in the bag. A lot of people shun black trash bags. I don't mind them, and in this yeah, case, I probably should have. That's literally trash. Why did you store trash? Why? Well, keep it open to the side, so you put more trash in it. Why? You know, you don't get these for free. You're paying this. You're paying to store your trash. Makes no sense. Let's see what's in. Ooh, get it. Hey, what is that? Oh, hold on. I have no idea how to play a guitar. I'm not even gonna attempt to give you your cancer. Let's just set that aside. Don't fall! It doesn't listen very well, does it? Let's see what's in here. Ooh. Oh! Ah! <laughs> Raging Blast 2. You know this is one of the only Dragon Ball Z games I didn't like that much. But it's not even in there. Dang Great it. start. What is that? That is an iPod 8 gig. And it's pretty beat up. I see a PS2 game. I do too. What is, what is, oh, this is the black ops that comes with the metal. Look at this, this is so nostalgic right now. Get out. Oh, look at that. That's cool. That's so G. I don't know how much that's worth these days, but that's pretty cool. I remember when it first came out. Jimmy Neutron, PlayStation 2. That is G. This guy, I like this guy more already. Dragon Ball Z comic, it's the end one. That's so sad. Uh, what saga is this? This is the Android saga for all my Dragon Ball Z nerds out there. Right before, no, right after Cell goes Super Saiyan 2 and kills Cell. Or did I say Cell goes Super yeah. Saiyan 2? Gohan goes Super Saiyan 2. I, you would think I know that right there, you know? Uh, that's another hat, army hat though. What is that, like a turntable? Graphics? Hmm, is that like a drawing thing? Mm. Not sure, here's a disc. First disc, oh look! Dragon Ball Z Season 9 Disc 2. You know what, I like this guy a lot. Uh, let's get in here. Let's see what else we got. Oh look, there's Disc 5, a Scooby-Doo PlayStation game. Is that in there? No. Oh, look at that. Oh wow. That's mine. It's got freaking Vegito on it. Where's this, oh yeah, he already destroyed Scott. That's when he poses up to fight Goku. That's pretty G. Uh, checkbook, nothing in it. And well, that's it for this drawer, but wow, oh wait. <laughs> this guy just keeps getting cooler. Tony Hawk Project 8 right there. Oh. And oh, oh my gosh, who remembers these? This is like a flashback in time right here. There's more Dragon Ball Z DVDs over here. Discs. The what? There's two discs. Right? It's all There's Dragon Ball. Oh, Call of Duty and Dragon Ball Z. You know what? This guy is my man right here. He is my guy. And by the way, let's point this out. That's also an Xbox 360 wire because I see some of those in the back. Jordan number two, I had to get off that knee. Cement and Nino Max. And, ooh. Wow. First thing you see, Red Dead Redemption. Is that in there? It's not. Where this are all these discs? They're probably all on a one of those things somewhere that hold discs. Well, let's see what other kind of stuff he's got in here. That. Oh my gosh. The nostalgia. Can I tell you a story about this game? If you never played it, it takes extremely long to beat. And you collect socks. And when you get 10 socks, you give them to Patrick. He gives you a golden spatula. The goal of the game is to get all the golden spatulas. For some reason, when I walked past Patrick with three socks, he took them from me and gave me a spatula and an autosave. So now I have seven, like from 15 years ago. And I'm still, I'm still mad about that. I can never finish it <laughs> because Patrick's a douche. Uh, that, Tony Hawk, E.T. Oh, look. Dragon Ball Z Season 4. I already have all of these, but you know, it's all in there. This one's all in there. This looks like when Future Trunks comes back. <gasps> oh, I was about to buy this. Now I don't have to. Look, 
Dragon Ball Z Budokai Collection. This is Budokai 1 and Budokai 3 backwards paddle for the Xbox 360. That's pretty savage. I was just going to buy that. We got Need for Speed Carbon, another book, and I used to do this with PlayStation 2 games that I lost the case, just designed my own. And I don't know what else we got going on here. Oh, if that's in there, that's going to be nice. Grid, Toy Story, is that COD? Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. Um, Kung Fu Panda. Let's see if any of these DS games are in there. That's not. Which probably leads me to believe Pokemon's not either. Nope. What else I got? Can't ignore the There's a bullet. Buzzer. Oh! That's not even fired yet. This looks like a 9mm Luger. Look at that. That's kind of nice. Maybe we'll find what launches it in here too. With our luck. But look. A couple more tech decks. This guy over here already playing with them. I haven't played with these things in oh, so long. The guys, uh, these are like updated ones. These aren't the real ones. But, you know, so cool. Last drawer. Oh, Whoa, man. There's There's a his stash. Modern Warfare 3 Whoa. is just the case. But, uh, look at all the GTAs. Look, Grand Theft, or Halo 4, Halo Reach, Battlefield 4, uh, Midnight Club, Rock Band, Need for Speed Carbon. What is this? Let me see. Get out of here. This is just... Uh, insurance stuff. Look at this PlayStation 2 collection right here. Let's see if we can find something worth something. Ooh, True Crime. These are in here. True Crime Streets of LA. Tony Hawk's Underground 2, not 1. Oh, that one's not in there. Oh, come on. Make up your mind, man. Simpsons Road Rage. That was a good game. And that's complete in there, but the case is busted. Which, whatever, we can replace that. It's backwards. What's up with this? PlayStation 2 case supposed to look like this. Your manual was in there backwards. Oh look, here's a whole bunch of discs. LA Rush. Oh! That's like 40 bucks right there. Def Jam Fight for New York City. But I'm out of keep it. I literally sold mine a while back because I needed money like a couple of years ago. And now I have it back. Driver 3, Smackdown with Brock Lesnar on it. And a bunch of junk, really. What are these cards? Please be Pokemon. No, I don't know what they are. Star Trek or something? No, Men in Black. This is a cool unit. Uh, that one. What other games do we have in here? Celebrity Deathmatch, Grand Theft Auto 3, San Andreas, Vice City, Simpsons Hit and Run. Oh man, we have a lot of good games. Madden, Midnight Club. Oh, you remember this game? This game was on PlayStation 1 and they redid it for PlayStation 2. Rocket Power. Not in there, but there's discs everywhere. So we'll be able to tell you in the recap, I think, when we go through it. Majority of these are going to be in there. Like Midnight Club 3, Need for Speed Carbon, Tony Hawk's Underground 2. They're all going to be here. We're just going to have to go through them and put them in their cases. But I don't think, for me personally, there could have been a better start to this unit. This is the kind of stuff I look for when I go on these units. This right here is it. Now, this is what I think is a nice gaming chair, but let's pull it out and see. It plugs in. It's kind of dirty, but, you know. A little vacuum. Take a vacuum to that. Yeah, it's just dusty and stuff. Well, it's kind of dirty, but... We'll clean it up. Somebody else will buy it. I don't really use these, but that's kind of cool. And it just added to the reason I wanted the unit because I didn't see so much gaming stuff. We got to get it. Let's keep pulling some stuff out. We got an old school game guide for Guitar Hero 2. Put it over there. And the game that was designed to destroy friendships one by one. <laughs> Flip boards, punched faces, thrown drinks, Monopoly. I dare you to get the boardwalk. I dare you. I will end you. We got... What's in here? Bougie film and some pills, which I guess we'll look into. Set that aside. Oh, who remembers these? Black Bear. This is like a nostalgic unit right here. Everything about it's just like, you remember that? I remember that. You remember this? Hey, look, trash bag. Appreciate the help. Let's go up here some. It's just a paper box. Oh, this is one of the other reasons I wanted to buy this unit. Uh, one of the best Call of Duties of all time. Who remembers middle school, coming home, all your friends logging on at the same time, and going in there, rushing to the tanks as soon as the game starts? Oh, look. I didn't even know they had a thing. It's a canteen for World at War. I guess this guy bought all the special edition ones, because that's what the Black Ops one over there was, too. So they're looking up the pills, and you see what's kind of just in there? A bullet shell. That's nice. Um, let's get out some of these discs over here. And hope there's some of those games we're missing. Let's look at them really quick. These look like 
not games. Yeah, I don't know what these are. Music CD. Oh, there's a Grand Theft Auto 3 right there. But not exactly what we were looking for. Let's just put these in here. What is this thingy? A PL radial tire chain, but yeah, I don't think that's what that is. What is this? GPS? It looks like a GPS. It does look like a GPS. And this looks like a wire. Probably to charge that GPS in the car while you're driving around. So let's get that aside real quick. Toothpaste! It's actually brand new. Uh, Netgear router, is that in there? Uh, no, just the papers. Boo! What is this thingy? What, what, what do we got going on here? This is a Jotto desk for safety reasons. What's a Jotto desk? Look. I don't even have a guess. Me neither. That? What is this? Nerf. Uh-oh. Don't get into it. Well, a remote control car for something, maybe? Maybe something to do with this? Maybe that looks like the pieces that usually go on top of remote control cars, so I'm hoping. Does Nerf Ugh. make most remote control cars? I think they just used it for this controller, honestly. But let's get this ball out of here. Oh God, it's gone. Yeah, I don't know what it <laughs> That. All right, what's this? A 71 Ford Mustang. Oh, looks like most of the pieces are still there too. Oh, nice. And that's for when you're done making it. Cause you know, it's kind of stressful. <laughs> but we got a Mustang. So let's pull out one of the first things we saw when they opened this. It's just an old, uh, uh, so to say all white Xbox 360, but you yeah, know, it's white. not quite all white anymore, but. <laughs> These aren't worth much anymore. You get like 20 bucks for that. But usually where there's one video game, there's more. And that's why we decided to keep going on it. What is this thing? Well, that is fall out of it. Uh-huh, let's see what you got here. Corporate records. What kind of stuff you got going on here? Uh, let's see. Oh, well, he was a, looks like a business owner. Huh. I'm gonna have to look into this. I like to see the background of these people. Oh, look, some bake statements. I know there's a sprint. We'll have to look into this. You know what? We'll find out what the background story is. I'm gonna get, oh, I forgot the number. How many points are they trying to get in that episode of South Park? Where at the end it just says, you are, I can't repeat that when they get it, but you guys know, watch out for what I'm talking about. But it's actually, believe it or not, Guitar Hero for Xbox are actually worth money if they didn't freaking draw all over it with a Sharpie. But I don't think it's gonna be really worth anything. You know? Hack, spray some Axe deodorant on Sharpie, it comes off. I figured it out as a kid, accidentally, but it works. Let's see what's in this black bag here. That's just upside down. What do we got in here? More trash? No. PlayStation 2 games and 007 for the original Xbox. Not in there. Um, what else do we have? That PlayStation 2? Yep, PlayStation 2 controller. Cheap PlayStation 2 controller for when you're one of the ragers that break them a lot. You buy these. I used to buy these. Uh, NBA, oh. 2K, I thought it said 19. I was like, no, it's not. That one. And, well, the was a controller. This guy might be one of the people that mod the controllers, take them apart to add mods to them. I don't like playing with you people. You gotta ruin the game. And there's something in here. What in it? What is it? a ruler? Really? You need me go through all that for a ruler? I don't like it. Well, that's the part of the. Oh, that's a wireless PlayStation controller. That's the receiver. But yeah, not much else in there. So I just found this black case too, which is I don't know. How do I get into it? Hmm. You see a way in? Oh, this. No. I think you pull right here. It just takes take this down. Now no. there's a there's a latch over here too. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that is like a little tool set that's missing half the tools. Just what we love to see. Been trying to get this toad out. Ugh. Now we can finally see what we have in here. That is a taken apart system. An Xbox 360. This is the inside of it, so 
Probably somebody trying to JTAG their Xbox being a little <laughs> being really annoying in Xbox games. Uh, classic. Hey, look, Chewbacca. <laughs> uh, a classic 1970s Chevy Impala. Uh oh. And what is that? A revival muscle car? Oh, of course, the best thing in the unit. Oh my gosh. Expired peanut butter. Eat it. This thing is totally not sliding back as I'm sitting on it. I gotta go down. All right. Hey. 1969 Dodge Daytona. Uh, pills with 122 on them. The uh, batteries that aren't in there, I wish they were. What's in this little thingy? What are these? You know what these look like to me? The tags that come on a new gun when you buy it. Like when I have it hanging up. <coughs> it's got the price on it. That's what they look like. These are blank CDs. A whole lot of them. And this game is Need for or Forza Motorsport. And only one disc is in there. Anything else interesting in this little tote? It's just at the bottom. <clears throat> what do you got here? Certified Asset Recovery Specialist. Uh, this is all personal stuff. Another needle, you know, just because, in case you have a bad day. Oh, look. They even left me an open one. How sweet of them. And, yeah, I think that's just about it in here, minus some 3D glasses. Not as exciting of a tote as I thought it would be. So we got all that tote out the way. Another black bag. Let's see if it's godly or what is that? I don't really know what that is. It's not oh. oh, guys. Do you see what I see here? Pokemon Game Boy Advance Emerald and Fire Red. Oh, are they factory sealed? No, they're open. They're not going to be in there, are they? No. Well, if we find these somewhere in there, we have the boxes for them now. That's actually a really good find. They're pretty expensive. So I'm gonna set these aside. They're the same weight, so if that's not in there, I'm gonna assume that's not in there too. Let's go ahead and set that aside. Make sure they're not in here. What is that? An Apple charger. Oh, my, I just kept gaining respect. Now it's minus 10. Phone, that's an iPod holder. Burnt copy of SpongeBob. That's plus 10 back. You got it back. Well, that's all that's in there. Let's hope we come across those Game Boy Advance games. Because what the box is, that's worth some money. Now, let's see some sad stuff, guys. Look. Xbox 360 box. With no Xbox. That's not it, though. Xbox One box. With no Xbox. We're hoping. We're hoping. They're still somewhere in this unit. But as of now, they're nothing. Look what I got. Another one. With an American flag. No, it didn't. Stop thinking in the gun. <laughs> flag one. Oh look. Hmm. Someone took apart their Xbox 362. You know what? I already know you're one of those people. I log into Call of Duty and you're just like floating around the map shooting me and never dying. <laughs> I know that's you taking apart the Xbox. I'm gonna find you too. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? You're gonna get it. Actually, this is probably illegal. We're still in California. It's a water gun. It's scary, but it might be a high capacity magazine. It might hold too much water, which makes it more dangerous for some, I don't know, people. They don't, don't make no sense. Is it a fully semi-automatic? Yeah, it's a fully semi-automatic. That's what they'd call it. Nothing. Um, we got this little thing. Children's Dictionary. Cover. Didn't we just find this in the last unit we bought? Pretty sure. It's covered in paint here. Get rid of it. This. And this. I'll shut the mic. Well, look at else we got. More pills. Hmm. I don't know what they're on. Other than that... Oh, there's stuff back here. Hold on. Come here. Yeah. Oh, it's freaking mad enough, Seven. Don't do that to me. We got us another black bag here. Let's see what else is in here. What is that? A Sprint 3G, 4G something. Ooh, my favorite. Use needles. More pills. Just more and more. Um, well, more pills. Uh, I think we got a theme in this bag. They're diabetic. They're diabetic? Yeah. Okay, so that makes me feel a little bit better about the pills. Or the needles. Other than that, we don't have much going here. Snake. Snake. Sweet. Other than that, what is that? Wild industry, world industry. Uh, not much of an interest in that bag. 
Another box here full of interesting looking stuff. What do we got? A classic 1967 Mercury Comet. Ooh, another stack of games. Love for oh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2. Oh, so what, what the heck? Look at this. Match. Finding Nemo, Budokai 2, there it is. Who remembers a SpongeBob and Celebrity Deathmatch? Who remembers a story mode on this game for Dragon Ball Z people? You like hop around like a little checkers piece on the map. It's kind of stupid, but it was kind of unique. It was its own thing. And we got Left 4 Dead 2. Oh, Pit My Ride had a game? Why did I not know that? Grand Theft Auto 4, Nico Bellic. You want to go bowling? No, Roman. Um, what else was it? Oh, yeah, there's the case that I was looking for. We found that game earlier. Boom, that's 40 or 50 bucks, but I'm probably going to keep it because I've missed that game. I see well. more tech deck down there. Do you? Yeah. Oh. oh! Ooh, guess what this first one is, too? Super Mario 64. Hee <laughs> hee. And then Battle Tank as well. And police. What else do we have in here? Rubik's Cube. Yeah, I don't feel like breaking it yet. And, well. That's it for this box, but that game I think still has a little bit of value too right there. So you know, I don't know about Battle Tank, but Super Mario 64, that was a beast game. I'm using my light over here in another sad moment. Why does somebody have so many Xbox 360 boxes that are empty? You know why? Because they're modding them. I don't like modders. You ruin the game. Let's see what else I can pull out. We got us a little muscle, another model car here. The problem with most of these are the three that I open is they, they've drawn all over them. They've color changed them, which kind of sucks because that probably kills their little bit of value they did have. And let's see what else I can get my hand on. Tranquil. That. That. Yeah. That kind of stuff. And in the back here, there's a lot more. We've also been kind of ignoring one of the nice finds in this unit sitting right at the front. Ugh, look at that. A Viper, what does that say? I don't even know that TV brand. Viopi? Never heard of it in my life. Flat screen TV sitting right at the front. So you know what? We like that too. We like that too. And, um, I'm just pointing that out. Looks like a 308 or 30 out six. Just laying on the ground. Why don't we keep one bullet shell? Why? What is this? I'm gonna step on it. <gasps> the best zombies in Call of Duty history. See, the best multiplayer is gonna be Modern Warfare 2. The best zombies is gonna be Black Ops 2. Best mechanics is gonna be World at War. If you disagree with me, I don't like you. Just kidding, I still like you, but those are the best. Can you believe if there's just a double barrel shotgun laying on the ground? This is messed up. Oh, uh -uh. you can't actually cock it. But you know what? This is what I think of modders. Stop modding the game. Oh, this is highly dangerous. Does this, does this count as a high capacity magazine, a scary assault tile left? And does that count? I don't know. I think it's like all the other ones. You know, they just kind of sit there and let you do something with them. Just in case my gun joke make you cry. See, I still care about you. We got you his used, probably personal toilet paper. So look at this super heavy bag all the way in the back corner of the unit. Oh, see that? What is that? That is not clothes we're looking at here. We got Jordan Box and GMC Magazine. Uh, Okay, let me get this better angle over here. <laughs> we got, what is that? A car. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it. What I'm here for. Whoa, look at all this stuff in here. Look at those old oh. phones. Is this one? I thought it was one of those like indestructible Nokia's. Uh, Guitar Hero, not in there. Hey, look. Ah. Oh. Most of you guys are not gonna know what this is. You know the PlayStation 2 only comes with two controllers. So if you put this in there, you can actually play four player. For example, like Def Jam we found earlier. You can have four people free for all. That thing's pretty cool. What else do we have in here though? All kinds of randomness. Um, those are car parts in there. What's in here? We'll look at that in a second. What's that? Franklin. What is that? A dictionary and the Thoris. Alright. Well, I think that's all that's in this bag of insurance, but hey look, no, it's not. Come here. Oh, it's an old one. A TI-30. When has that even been a thing? Mm. I don't know. Let's see what's in here. Composition book. Meh. 
Ah, uh, you. What game is it? Guitar no more Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero literally gets thrown away from GameStop just because. That's how good it is. This has got stuff in it. Haha. Uh -huh. Need for Spirit Midnight Club LA. And Ratatouille, which is also not in there. That's alright, we have huge stacks of discs. I think we got all the games, or at least the majority of them. And well, I think that's all that's in this little thingy here. What is that? That is a Rail Rescue Rangers. Wow, Rangers bag, that's kinda cool. And yeah, that's all for this bag. Well guys, we're running out of time here, so you know what? When we get home, we'll do a recap, but if you wanna see even more of this unit, he's not paying attention, but you know. Head over to Baby Deep's channel over there. He's gonna go through some more in the back there. Cause I opened one of the drawers back there and trust me, I can't, it's hard to contain myself to see what's in there, but I, it's good stuff, it's good stuff. So go check out that and see the recap when we do it. All right guys, now that we're back, let's do a quick little recap on some of the stuff in this unit now. We only had the two cars, our van's actually full to go to the flea market tomorrow, so we couldn't get everything out of there. But let's go through the recap of this, just the stuff we got here. Did I mention I have a Vegeta drink? <laughs> <laughs> that I'm not selling is mine. I wonder what flavor it is. I don't know. It's some Japanese stuff. Well, we won't know because we're not drinking it. No. But let's start with the big money items. So, what I found, Def Jam, I said it was $40 or $50 because before we did YouTube, we used to do a lot of yard selling and one of the things I'd look for were video games to resell and I always knew to look out for Def Jam. Plus, it's an awesome game, but it's actually up to like $90 plus dollars now for the black cover. You see up here where it's got the black top? That means it's original. It's not one of the remakes. And plus, disc. And manual, this is 90 to over $100 for that game. Which I don't know if I'm gonna sell though. I love this game. This well, is one of the best fighting systems ever and one of the best storylines ever. You can keep it and then again, if you down the road you wanna sell it, you can just sell But it. I feel like right now tax season's a time to sell it because people are paying for their nostalgia and I understand. Basically, do you want the game or you want money now? Yeah, I don't know yet. I haven't decided yet. You might see it on eBay. These. Now we still have a little bit more in the unit so we might get lucky and find the actual games that go in these but boxes the boxes have sold for sixty dollars and fifty nine something so basically sixty a piece for the boxes now if you can find the freaking little cartridge the game boy game that goes in these these are both over a hundred dollars easy so realistically 125 for the unit yeah this right here is over two hundred dollars we've already paid for the unit plus almost a hundred bucks with three things Crazy. and that's awesome that is really awesome but if we find those games I'm just, I'm really hoping we find those games. So I we really found like them. those, I found a charger and also found a little adapter for a Game Boy Advance. So I'm hoping somewhere in some little bag in the corner there, or even between the mattresses or something, there's like a little bundle of Game, Game Boy, Boy Advance Ooh. stuff. We literally took the bags and I like, went through every last little freaking thing in there. Cause those yeah. Game Boy Advance games are like that big. So we took through every little crumb in each bag so far, but there's still a few more that we couldn't fit. So fingers crossed we still got them. Speaking of games, we also got the two Nintendo 64 games. Battle Tanks, like a $7 game, it's whatever. But Super Mario 64 now, I've seen it selling from as low as 25 and as high as 35 and 40. So we're gonna call that about a 30, 35 dollar game. And it's in good shape other than the residue. I tried to get the little price tag sticker off, but they make stuff to get that stuff off. But I bet you that's no less than 30 bucks for that. Can't complain there. And these two things. I think I'm definitely gonna keep these. So. For all you people that don't play video games, just cover your ears for a second. This is the Black Ops 10 Prestige Day 1 Edition. You get this if you order the game, Special Edition on Day 1. And basically, that's if you've reached 10 Prestige, that's what your little emblem in game will look like. So, that's pretty cool. I'm a Call of Duty lover. I've been playing since World at War came out. That was the first one I really started playing. Played a little bit of Call of Duty 3, but not really. World at War is the first one I got addicted to. That's, this is basically the reason I bought the unit. Because I saw this sitting on top of the mattress. It's only worth like 30 bucks, but... It's, it's hard to get. This game came out in what year? Like, I don't know, over 10 years ago, definitely. And it's hard to find the collector's edition like that. So I am definitely, definitely want to keep this one. This is so cool. These two things are just so cool to me. I'm keeping <laughs> these because I love Call of Duty. I wish we could have found a Modern Warfare 2 first day, but that's the best Call of Duty, but I like these two as well. What else do we got? We have uh, this iPhone 4, not just a box, but it's the phone there. as well. Um, the screen... No cracks. I'm not cracked. Did hey. you hear that? Something selling eBay. on eBay. Woo! I love um, that sound. So yeah, iPhone 4, we tried to look it up, but we couldn't find what it was selling for. So That's if you weird. guys know anything about this, it's an 8 gig iPhone 4 and uh, model A1349. So let us know about that. 
That Next, thing blew my mind. This little thing, a Franklin, it was the dictionary thesaurus thing, right? Yep. Yep. Um, Merriam Webster, Merriam Webster, dictionary and thesaurus. What is it worth? $30. $30. I literally didn't even think of looking that up. And I was like, when I was editing, I was like, let's just see if it has like a $5 value so I can increase the little counter at the bottom. And I typed it in eBay. And I was like, I saw 27, 31, 30. I was like, no way that little thing's worth $30. But well, that little thing's worth $30. Evidently, there's like some bookman cards. I don't really mm -hmm. know what those do. I don't know either. Do, but, but all the ones I saw, saw that sold for 30, it was just this thing. Like there was okay. nothing else with it. So, so maybe, but that's just wild. Maybe there's a random wire I set aside in the garage that powers this. So we'll have to figure that out. That's yeah. why you look everything up. And I, yes. that, I would have thrown that in a <laughs> random box at the flea market and let somebody have it for a dollar. Yeah. That's why you look it up because it's worth 30. So this thing is a connected high current car audio power cell. Has some weight to it. It's like 50 yeah. pounds. Mm. I'm not going to say 50 pounds. 30 pounds. It's Whatever. Heavy. Um, some of the, some of these types actually go for a lot of money. However, this type is on the cheaper side. We see them go as low as like 30 something. Some of them are high like 200 bucks. And I'm like, what's the difference? I don't even know what it is, but yeah. I don't know. We don't have them on eBay yet. Well, Cause if it's only like 30 or 40 bucks, it's going to cause that to ship that heavy thing. Yeah. Well, this can go on a flat rate. That's true. I always forget about flat rates. Don't forget flat about flat rate. rates. So, yeah. uh, this next thing is a nice, a Jordan jersey, size a large. I don't know what these sell for, but in the bottom, it doesn't have the normal like NBA stamp thing. It just has the Air Jordan logo. That's what branded actually. Look at the yeah. tag. I never seen that before. Yeah, so it's just branded by Jordan. The it's Jordan, not NBA. Jordan jersey. I never Jordan, seen that. Jordan Jordan jersey. And that I hope that's not worn. I'm hoping it's like this, a special edition. This is Reebok <laughs> number three for the Knicks, Marbury. It's a little, the red, I guess, on it is a little worn down. <laughs> it's um, <laughs> a little. This is a Hardwood Classics Vintage, size large, length plus two, NBA official jersey. There's a couple stains on it, but it's it's not bad. I'd say, like, fair condition. I'm hoping that red is, like, a special edition. It's not just that bad. I think it's that bad, but okay. Don't say that. Let's <laughs> not uh, forget, all of these right here, our complete games. We have more cases and discs in the garage. We also have some more bags left in the unit. So we might have more games in this, but other than what, four Xbox 360 games, we have like, shoot, 20 to 30 PlayStation 2 games in this pile. And these are all the ones that are just have like decent value, like Guitar Hero and Rugby 04 are gonna be like 50 cent games. But something like Midnight Club is more like a $7 game. And then you have the Simpsons games that are worth like some 10 to 15. So. I don't know what we're gonna do with these. Maybe lot them up and sell them with a lot on eBay. I don't 47 know. Forty-seven here. Forty-seven. Yeah. That's not bad at all. And like we said, bad. we have another stack of cases that's probably like this tall in the garage too, and we might have more discs in the unit. So. Yep. Who knows? We don't know what else is in there. Probably after we're done with the flea market tomorrow, we'll swing. Flea market. For all you people that have been <laughs> wanting the flea market videos back, we're going tomorrow. It's like already 10 o'clock and we gotta get up at four yeah. and then go back to the unit after. Yeah, but team no sleep. Who needs sleep anyway? But this was a banger unit for $125. Really, really was. It's like literally everything I look for in stores. You know, my favorite kind of stuff is video games, weapons, and just, oh, it's just, it's just <laughs> me. So if you enjoyed it, leave it a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you're new and you love storage units. And until next time, peace out.